Now, so it is day seven, one week from my surgery day. Um, feeling good today. I have got up and been able to walk around fine um, without my walker for the most part and um, my back did start to get kind of achy so I um, just kind of used my walker like to lean on to brace myself basically for a minute and um, then was able to continue walking without it uh, so that's good um, so definitely get the walker if you don't want to um, buy one find one at a thrift store borrow one do what you got to do but definitely get the walker um, I got mine from Walmart it was under 30 bucks I ordered it on walmart.com so uh, did not sleep well last night I was just, um, I don't know, restless, I guess, and uh, kind of achy. Not, um, not any serious pain, just uncomfortable. Um, so I took, I have two boppy pillows. So I have, it currently, it's under me now. I'm using one of my boppy pillows, kind of like um, the donut pillows that you see people using. Um, it's much more comfortable than that. Um, that helped. I um, was going to try to get through the night without taking the Tylenol PM. I ended up taking it. Um, and I finally fell asleep. Um, appetite. Uh, I haven't really had much of an appetite. I'm having cravings though, like surgery cravings. Um, I've been craving grilled cheese and um, pizza. And it's it's two things I never really want or or eat which I find is odd but that's what I'm craving um, I did have half of the grilled cheese um, no pizza yet um, kind of scared to have that because of the indigestion and having this binder on already and I just think that and, and being a VSG patient I just don't think it'd be a good idea right now. So I'm not going to give in to that craving um, as of right now, anyway. I might end up having, you know, a few bites. Who knows? But I'm going to try not to. Um, I just don't want to deal with heartburn. So, um, I don't know if I said it already, but energy is good today. Uh, I have been just snacking on um, fruit mostly, uh, sugar-free pudding, yogurt, crackers, um, I'm having crackers when I take medication, um, my vitamins and stuff in the mornings because they make me nauseous if I don't and I have a few saltine crackers when I take the gabapentin just in case because uh, I think I mentioned yesterday that um, I'm really sensitive to medication and uh, I have stomach issues so I'm trying to watch sodium because of the swelling that is completely normal after surgery. Other than the saltine crackers, 
because I honestly if I had to pick or choose I would deal with the little swelling versus um, getting sick and throwing up if I didn't eat the salt and crackers and have something on my stomach when I take my medicine so um week first this first week just like a overview I guess um pain hasn't been bad nothing like what I thought it would be um my tube ligation was actually more painful than this uh scale of 1 to 10 so the most pain that I've been in has been maybe a five um and that was my back like honestly um just from being hunched over i have been taking arnica tablets that might be why i haven't had much pain from uh, the liposuction a lot of people say they experience um bruising is not bad so, an Arnica tablets is supposed to help with that. I don't know if, if that's what's done it or I just, you know, my pain tolerance is, is up there. Um, I don't know, but uh, I have took Arnica tablets in the past after um, doing fascia blasting. And they did help then. Um, I could actually tell the difference when I would use the blasters and not take the arnica versus when I did take the arnica and use the fascia blasters. So I would say that they, they are helping with this because they helped with that. So definitely get you some of those. Um, it's really, I, have, I can feel some tightness in my stomach. Um, and I'm sure that's from the muscle repair. And it's unfamiliar to me because I've had, you know, the diastasis for so long. Um, so that's a little different for me. Um, and I also think that that is playing a part in uh, the restriction that I feel when I eat. I already eat, you know, less being, you know, VSG. Um, but it's like the restriction that I felt in the beginning after my weight loss surgery is there. And I'm, I'm guessing that it is the muscle repair that's kind of tightened everything up. So, but it's, it's not bad at all, guys. Um, I do highly recommend definitely having somebody with you the first 48 hours if possible but for sure the first 24 and at most hospitals and surgery centers that's what they they tell you that um, if you can have somebody with you longer hey do that um, but yeah it's, it's been good I'm okay already thinking about um, when I can have the lipo to my back. <laughs> um, I'm going to pace myself, of course, but I didn't do the 360 um, because there's a limit of lipo that they can do at one time, and I wanted like the upper part of my stomach, like around my rib cage, my sides there, done and um, she couldn't do that area and my lower flanks and my back like all three because it was too much so I was like okay let's just take care of the front part first so our plan is you know next step is lipo on my back and a bra lift um, a lot of people have you know all that done at once um, and just like deal with one recovery which you know I get that um, but I'm glad I didn't do it 
because I can't imagine trying to sleep in this recliner and being hunched over with my back hurting and having an incision on my back and my tailbone hurting and, and all that. So, um, and again, I get, just would have been too much lipo um, for her to, you know, safely and uh, to remove safely. Or to safely remove. <laughs> okay. So, next step is, you know, having that done. And then I don't know how long um, she's going to want me to wait. My appointment with her is the 5th, I think. Friday, the 5th. So, definitely, I'll be updating you guys. And I'm going to ask her about that. And I'll definitely be mentioning that. But I wanted to uh, kind of do a little taste test. Come on here. And I love, okay, my favorite flavor, like, in the world is coconut. I love everything coconut. It's my favorite scent favorite flavor um, but also let me some blueberry and I love built bars so I got these in today and this is the blueberry muffin and I'm not like I'm not hooked up with them I don't have the hookup on a code or anything like that I just like sharing stuff with you all that um, I like and think that y'all might like and um, I'm going to taste this. We'll see. Definitely smell the blueberry. Now the coconut in this has been my favorite so far. And the coconut almond. So, I'll show hate it but my opinion is still not as good as the coconut but I mean I I'll finish the box of course because them damn things ain't cheap and we ain't wasting that um, I probably wouldn't order them again just you know, it's just me and I, I love blueberry things but mm, I don't love that Take a sip of my protein shake because I also have the grasshopper cookie I smell the mint in it If you like them, Girl Scout cookies, I guess. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is good. I would order those again. Um, if you know somebody with a code, you save um, ten percent, I think. And get free shipping. Um, so when I ordered the blueberry muffin, at the end of my order, it offered me kind of special discount for a six pack of these. That's why I decided to go ahead and get them. I think I got a six count box for ten bucks. So. Mm hmm. If you like the Girl Scout grasshopper cookies, the thin mints, you'll like that. Um, it's easy to find somebody on here that's hooked up with the bar and get you a, a discount code. So yeah, I recommend these for sure. Coconut's still my favorite. Okay, so I've lived long enough. Um, Close this out. This has been my week. Kind of recap. Part two. 
probably definitely gonna be broke up into two videos or else it's just gonna be too long so I appreciate you guys watching appreciate all the good vibes and prayers everybody sent my way um, appreciate the um, inbox whatever the DM messages or whatever I totally jacked that up thanks to everybody who's reached out to me on Instagram <laughs> privately to check on me see how I was doing and send me prayers yeah um, as you can tell I'm not a social media guru but um, thank you for watching if you're subscribed thank you if you haven't sus subscribed yet go ahead and do that and give this video a thumbs up I really appreciate it it helps my channel and if you click that little bell that you see there be notified when I update again um, which will probably be when I go to the doctor oh, when y'all weighed in today too um, gained about two pounds but I'm not gonna sweat it um, my body is going through a healing process and it's totally normal to have some inflammation and um, from swelling like, it might be from all the crackers I've ate um, I've snuck in a few cookies here and there I ain't gonna lie but I'm also like I'm not gonna beat myself up over it I'm healing I need the carbs that's what I'm gonna tell myself <laughs> Okay, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's well. Um, <clears throat> my drains, I have two drains. Show you guys. Not draining a lot now. Um, I think it is, she told my husband that like, three consecutive days of draining under 25 I think uh, should take the drains out I have done that um, I don't think I've drained 25 in either drain like ever um, so I would say she's probably going to take both drains out Friday if she will allow me to record that, my husband to record that, I'll do that and share that with you all. Um, so, yeah. That's good. Hey, y'all. Okay, so it is the end of day seven. And, um, I accidentally pulled on one of my drains. Um, and pulled the stitch loose so I called the answering service where my plastic surgeon works and uh, <sighs> excuse me they contacted her she called me and um, she asked me my numbers the drains and everything and they're both putting out really low numbers so she said to go ahead and pull it um, told us what to do uh, if in case if it's going to be me and my husband do it but, um, my sister-in-law who's a nurse ended up pulling it so um, that is out and when I tell you that I know I'm going to feel so much better once this other drain is out yeah, it's it's a relief already just that one side um, she said to not mess with the other one because what will happen is the other one will kind of compensate for the missing now missing drain and it'll probably start putting out more fluid um, which makes sense but as of right now um, not really any different so okay um, stay tuned for the clip of my sister-in-law removing my right
much rain. Oh, and uh, it didn't hurt at all. It just uh, it stung a little around the entry point like where it goes in my body. Um, that was it. And it, and, and it was, uh, I don't know, it was a weird feeling, but not painful at all. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel, any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that